What about balance in your life? I think it's balance. Yeah, I hate that word. Yeah, me too. Well, I think especially, I do think women get asked about balance all the time. It makes me kind of insane. Yeah. I have four kids. Yeah. Th- they, there's, we don't have any discussions about how you know, mom's not there to pick them up. But it's just, I think you have to just make it a normal part of your day of, look, yeah. I love all these things equally. And so I've redefined balance probably by necessity yeah. of, I spend time and energy where I need to spend time and energy at yeah. whatever that moment of time is. And all those things are equally important to me. Yeah. And so I don't think my kids think I put work first. Work doesn't think I put my kids first. And so somehow I've, I've worked it out. But you just yeah. have to say, I love them all. And I'm going to commit to all of these things yeah. um, and achieve excellence in all of them. Yeah, you know. It's like a cop out to go like something's going to, a ball's going to drop or something's going to fail. If you accept that as the worldview, then that's just kind of what happens. Uh and so the socialist movement here in America of uh, everything's free. Yes. Uh, and you're um, you're on board for that. Every everything free, free college, free free rent, free free Spotify for everybody, free everything. Nothing's free. <laughs> exactly. I say that all the time at home. Nothing's free. Yeah. I'm actually amazed though. My my oldest is 16. And I would have thought that he would, you know, I would have brainwashed him a little more effectively, but apparently not, because he was honestly advocating for all student debt to get erased. So I said, well, who do you think is going to pay for that? It doesn't just go away. It doesn't evaporate into the ethos. Someone actually has to pay for that. Right. It's going to be paid for by taxpayers. So then I just started taking more taxes out of his allowance to say, well, I'm just we're going to collect now for the for the student debt that you are going to pay off later. Yeah, it also sends a very weird message. If everybody gets their debt forgiven, that then, well, what does the next generation do? Yeah. Well, well, they're going to be like, okay, yeah, I'll take debt up to the hilt because yeah. well, it'll that get pa- forgiven. But I think that's actually the point. I think the point is to huh. slowly brainwash people into thinking debt is a great thing because it'll just go away. Who cares? There's no consequence to debt. <laughs> and so then the people who worked yeah. hard so they didn't go into debt yeah. are the fools. Yeah. And the ones who maximize debt to the detriment of themselves, but to the benefit probably of governments and people much powerful, more powerful than us, yeah. you know, get to laugh. Uh, it's interesting, too, because I think, you know, the airlines getting bailed out constantly yeah. and Wall Street getting bailed out during the financial crisis really gave people this upper hand to say, well, you're bailing out rich, powerful people. Therefore, we might need to have bailout culture. We don't need bailout culture. We need accountability culture. And we shouldn't have bailed out Wall Street. We should have let a couple of banks, and a couple of banks did fail, in fairness. But this idea, I was talking to, to name drop Richard Branson about like uh, all the airlines getting bailed out. And it's like, yeah, if you're a new airline, you have to make it. And if you're one of these old airlines with pensions or whatever, they just bail you out over and over again. And you're like, why does the service on United and Delta suck? It's like- because all they do is work for the bailout. Yeah, and I don't think Amer- uh, enough Americans appreciate that they're the ones that bailed them out. Right? It exactly. all gets it all gets passed on to them in terms of higher prices. All right, well, but I do for- want to say one thing, which is I don't think millennials are as bad as people think. Agreed. And, and I have found that people are really just looking for more meaning. Like there's almost like a mis- they're a misunderstood generation, which is yeah. they decided money was not the thing, so they've got these phrases that we might have an allergic reaction to. But at the end of the day, what they're saying is, I want my time to matter. Hmm. So they actually end up being some of the best employees because once they commit to sort of a purpose and a cause, they really are all in. Yeah, that makes total sense, right? The entitlement we, we you see entitlement, and what they're really saying is. If I'm going to give my life to this, it, it better be there. Better be some substance here. That's right. Right. And if I'm not going to, yeah, of course I want to get the entitlements. Right. If I'm punching a clock, yeah, okay, let's have the negotiation. I'll take all the entitlements you can give her, give me. But if not, yeah, if I find purpose, then I'm going to sacrifice. And they do sacrifice massively. They absolutely do. If it's something they believe in. 